Why runs the Abhisarika? A picture recitation. Lightning rips apart the bonds of nitrogen that swim down the raindrops to the actinomycetes of the soil, who joyfully diffuse petrichoral bouquets of geosmin and tyrosine that waft into lovers' nostrils, becoming dopamine in the mesolimbic pathways of the brain. The dopamine needs its own bard and ballad to sing of all its risks in pursuit of pleasure, suppresses inhibitions, makes us go get it, setting heroines on new adventures. The lightning of such storms illuminate the experimental arts lovers discover. And for those with no erotic manuscripts to guide, the best love is still made on a stormy night. Lightning that splits nitrogen bonds lovers, cascading its atoms from cloud to soil, from raindrops to fragrance to fireworks of dopamine in lovers' cerebrums. But should the alleyways of dopamine dead end when a long pillows replace a lover, the fireworks explode within their crates, the moonbeams sting, the stormy night suffocates. Precisely when the first lightning strikes, irons of the air shiver her skin, shiver the beads of her ankle bells, her feet cross the threshold, and right she boards. Swelled with dopamine, the Abhisarika races. She fears not snakes, nor the forest goals, rather flees the fireworks of an empty bed and the moonbeams that will cinder her lonely soul. Lightning, custodian of the erotic arts, paid homage to the inverses and pains, cosmic repository of sexual powers, sets lovers to work in a single flash, a torch that keeps itself alive with energy spent by lovers in union. But for those too lonely to pay tribute, it constricts and alights in carnal flames. <gasps> scared to miss out on her oblation, scared of cinders, the Abhisarika runs. Who's afraid of earthwormy snakes in front of the cosmic serpent's fangs? Lightning, source of rasa, the primeval life force, in megawatts and kilojoules, compressed of millennia of kisses and embraces, not only of humans, but all life forms. <laughs>